Should you use iodine for teeth and gums if you want to reverse cavities? It may sound a bit crazy, but iodine is a very important trace mineral required to carry out essential functions in our bodies relating to physical and mental development. It's probably the least understood mineral out of all of them. People usually think of thyroid overstimulation or permanent staining. Many people have raved about its effectiveness on tooth decay and making gums stronger and healthier. If you try hard enough, you'll find many success stories. Here is Julie talking about her success with iodine. I had success with it. I would soak a Q-tip with four drops of Lugol's 2% iodine and apply to decay. I let it sit for two minutes, then had him rinse and spit. I'm not sure if this is the best, but I did it every other day for a week, then once a week. I noticed slight staining, especially where the decay is, but it seems temporary. My son's cavities were arrested, and I think this was the biggest help. One particular study written in the Journal of Pediatric Dentistry looked at the effectiveness of iodine in preventing early childhood cavities. They used a 10% solution of iodine and applied it directly onto the teeth and gums of 83 healthy children free of cavities aged between 12 and 19 months. They were given a bottle of drink other than water just before bedtime. The iodine solution was applied to the teeth of 39 children every two months, while the other 44 control subjects were given unsweetened tea. After the 12-month study was concluded, researchers found that 91% of subjects who received the iodine solution were free of cavities compared with 54% of the control subjects. What this study shows is iodine is efficient in combating early childhood cavities. We've placed a link to the full research paper in the description box below if you're interested. Iodine is a powerful bactericidal. It has the ability to kill bacteria instantly. Its effect is immediate, and the best thing about it is its excellent penetrability into dental plaque. All these properties combined make it an important product for oral use. One particular research paper carried out by Gibbons and Caulfield showed that a single two-minute application of 2% iodine or potassium iodine solution destroyed streptococci from different areas of the teeth for up to 13 weeks. How much iodine is required for healing teeth? That totally depends on your age range. For children between 3 to 5 years of age, you should only give them one drop of 2% Lugol's iodine solution per day. 5 to 9-year-olds can apply two drops. 9 to 16-year-olds can apply four drops. Dosages for people over 16 can range from 12.5 milligrams to 300 milligrams. The wide range is because people have different health complications, weight problems, etc. We recommend you start on a low dosage and work your way up to your personal optimum level. How to apply the iodine solution. The two most common ways people like to use the iodine are, one, carefully apply one to two drops directly on the affected teeth and leave it on there for a minimum of two minutes before rinsing your mouth out with water. Two, get a Q-tip and soak it in the iodine solution and gently brush it onto the target area and leave it on for a few minutes. Potential side effects. The main problem or concern people have with this protocol is the potential staining of teeth. But an easy solution to this is diluting the mineral slightly so it won't stain the teeth. Sometimes, if you have weakened enamel, you may be more susceptible to staining, but it's not permanent. It will disappear within a day. Another rare side effect is diarrhea, which can be seen in a few individuals. The main reason this happens is because iodine detoxes the bad bacteria and fungus from the bowel, which is then ejected as waste material. The problem should clear up within a few days. Which iodine formula is best? The Lugol's 2% is the most recommended by people who have already used it. Lugol's contains 6.3 milligrams of molecular iodine or iodide per drop. The formula is 85% distilled water, 10% potassium iodide, and 5% elemental iodine. This makes it effective yet not too overpowering. Don't forget to take selenium. Iodine and selenium make a powerful team, but it's likely you were deficient in this mineral as well. Taking iodine without selenium will not give the results you want. You need both working together to make it an effective treatment. Selenium is a necessary component of the enzymes that remove iodine molecules from T4, converting it into T3. Without selenium, there would be no activation of the thyroid hormone. Links to all scientific studies mentioned in the video are in the description box below. If you're interested in the Lugol's iodine solution, please scroll down to the description box where we've placed a link to the most popular brand people like to use. 
That's it for today, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and share. Take care and see you next week.